Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back for some more R Factor 2 action where today I'm kicking off a full weekend's worth of racing at the Winton Raceway in Victoria, Australia. So the Winton Super Sprint is a race each year on the V8 Supercars calendar and it has a range of different support categories that go and join it. In my opinion, Winton really is sort of the heart of Australian motorsport. It's where most drivers sort of start out their career in Australia. It's where almost all V8 Supercars teams test at one point and I've managed to find a Formula Ford mod that we're going to be driving today. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to run a quick qualifying session, see where we end up and run the race from there. Okay, so I have managed to qualify on the pole. Uh, this race is going to be five laps, just a nice little quick sprint race around Winton. Uh, the settings, we've got it set to 95% difficulty. I had to turn it way down because the uh, drivers in this, or AI drivers in this uh, car seem to be pretty darn good. Uh, the AI aggression, 40% damage multiplier on max. Uh, if you have R-Factor 2, you'll know what that means. Alrighty, well, without any further ado, we'll jump onto the grid and get under the way. I didn't get much practice in, so this is probably going to be a little bit hairy. All right, let's just try and get it off the line to start off with. <laughs> Oh, decent jump. <laughs> All right. Into turn one, pull it up. Ooh. Loose, cold tires. All right, so this thing just wants to understeer like a pig when you're off the throttle and then just <laughs> wants to break away as soon as you touch the throttle. Right. Come on. Yeehaw. so long use the curb and then down through the two gears that we have left in this little rhythm section come on <laughs> oh my days this thing just does not want to go in a straight line Now this mod is pretty good, I must admit, it's pretty realistic. I have driven a Formula Ford once in real life. And uh, the way it handles is, yeah, I'd say it's pretty close. Um, obviously this mod, as you can tell by the sort of dash, it's not 100% finished. But it's better than nothing. It's the only Formula Ford mod I could find out there. And we are going to lead the end of lap number one, four to go. over the curbs. You may also be able to tell that this is quite an old version of Winton if you are an Australian motorsports fan. Um, I think this is like from 2014. Uh, the layout hasn't changed but obviously it's uh, yeah, looking pretty outdated just by the curbs and everything else around it. No, this is uh, this is a tough weekend's worth of racing. I must admit, this uh, <laughs> going from a Formula Ford to a historic touring car to a modern touring car, that chopping and changing from one to the other is it takes, it takes me a while to get used to a uh, to the way each car drives. But we're just about holding the lead to the guy in second right now. Just can't make any mistakes. It's so easy to run wide and run off the track in these. Just about kept that on the track. Come on. Alright, two laps down. It's only a short one, so we can't make any mistakes. Let's go. Braking nice and early because I do not trust the stability on these <laughs> cars under brakes. So easy to lock a wheel as well with no downforce. I mean, these, these cars aren't, you know, they aren't slow. They've got a lot of power. In fact, at the American SCCA National Championships back when I was competing in 2015, the Formula Fords were the fastest open wheel car out there. Um, you know, faster than, well, the car I was driving, which was a 
sort of 250 horsepower um, open wheel Mazda with full wings and slicks. You know, these don't have slicks. They've got groove tyres, which is the reason why they have no grip whatsoever. But around Daytona, the, uh, the sheer lack of downforce meant they could go so bloody quick in a straight line. And when you get get them all drafting each other around Daytona that was it was pretty awesome to watch I must admit all right let's just focus ahead now starting to build a little bit more of a gap oh no no that's the mistake I was talking about no oh, get back on the track oh all right <laughs> held on to the lead somehow It's amazing how much the engine braking seems to have an effect. I just then just slammed it down to first and the whole thing just stopped. You hang her out. Alright. Getting that gap. We definitely have the pace on the rest of the field. I could have turned the uh, the de uh, difficulty up, to be honest, but yeah, it's too late now. Man, that was a quick lap. I think it's with the sheer lack of grip and the power this thing has, it's so hard to be consistent. This is why a lot of the uh, well, drivers in times gone by that started their careers in Formula Ford are so good because they get such good car control. However, my only worry would be is because you are having to drive these things on the throttle so much it may actually teach you bad habits at the same time certainly you know, if I'd started out my open wheel career in one of these I think I would have struggled moving on up into higher sort of downforce cars but purely because you drive a, a, a high sort of performance open wheel car completely different uh, different to this you know you drive that thing into the corner hard on the lean on the fronts whereas this you seem to brake early and drive it off the rears use the throttle to keep that minimum speed up as you can see I'm <laughs> driving it probably not like you should actually drive one of these cars in real life just accelerating through the corner seems backwards to me just not conform with my driving style but anyway I'll grab a win nonetheless oh mate that was a little bit of fun yeah, this mod's actually really enjoyable, even though it's not quite up to date and probably had its development scrapped. But it, yeah, no, definitely a, a mod I would be getting if you have R Factor 2. The link is in the description uh, for the track and the mod if you want to check it out. And yeah, we'll move on to the Touring Car Masters series tomorrow. Hopefully get the same result in that. Until then, I'll catch you guys later.